Hey guys, this is Radu. Welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can detect for each and every Minecraft biome in vanilla Minecraft 1.13 using something really cool called advancements. Now with advancements you can do some really cool stuff and one of these is detecting the biome in which a player is and translating it into a scoreboard objective which is pretty cool. So now you can take a look, I'm currently in the planes biome and I have a score of 1 which is the ID of the plane biome. Now if I enter the savanna biome as soon as I enter it you will see that my score will change and now it is 35 because I'm in the savanna. If I go up here it will change once again because I'm in a different biome which is named Shattered Savanna Plateau and I have a score of 164 which is basically the ID of the Shattered Pla Savanna Plateau. Now this thing here is 100% accurate meaning that as soon as you enter one block that is a different biome your score will change in maximum one second and it's because Minecraft um, grants advancements once every second. But anyways, it is 100% accurate. You can see that now I'm in the desert biome and I have a score of 2. As soon as I enter the river, I'm in the river, you can see that I have a score of 7. So here is going to be 2, here is going to be 7, 2, 7, and so on. And now you can use this thing here to do, I don't know, there are infinite possibilities. For example, I used this system to change my temperatures depending on the biome in which I am. If you are interested on this series, I'm actually making a series where I code a lot of stuff. Um, which is called uh, ecosystem and I will leave a card appearing on the screen if you are interested anyways let's go to our tutorial so first of all you, what you will have to do is to create a new world I have already done it uh, so you create it then you exit it you click on edit and then you open the world folder and you should have something like this you go on the data packs folder and you create a folder named biomes just like this and that's it and you can open it keep it open now what you will have to do i will link you on the in the description of this video a website that allows you to create custom advancements so what we want to do you will want to open the criteria page here and let's name it desert for example because in this case let's say that we want to detect for a desert biome and on criteria trigger we want to trigger a location of a player then we go here on edit and this is the option that allows us to detect for each and every Minecraft biome. There are now currently more than 70 of them. So you will have to do this thing here for 70 different times. All of the steps that I'm going to show you. But don't worry if you don't want to do it and I bet that you don't want to do it. I have already done it and uh, yeah, I can just give you a download link uh, with a file that contains all of the different biomes. So you guys don't have to do it. Um, all right, anyways, let's set it to desert because now we want to detect when a player is in the desert biome We can even detect for the dimension in which a player is which is really cool uh, And also if is in a jungle pyramid, etc, etc. So it is really really specific What we want to do we want to detect a player in a in a desert biome Everywhere in the world. So we will have to change these values here to 30 million 30 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Then we want to make it a minimum and maximum input. So let's set the minimum to minus 30 million and the maximum to 30 million. 30 million is basically how um, big is the world. It's 30 million blocks. So yeah, we want to detect a player that is anywhere in the world. Let's do the same thing here. Just make a, don't forget to put a minus here. And then same thing here and minus here and then close. Now what happens when a player is found in the desert biome Minecraft basically runs like checks for the advancements every second. So if a player is found in the desert biome this advancement here is granted to the player but nothing will happen. What we want to happen is to give to the player a reward. We could give him a recipe, a loot table or even experience but this is not what we want to do today. Today we want to, to give to a player as a, re a reward a function. We want a function to be activated when a player enters the desert biome and the function that we want to activate is biomes colon desert make sure that you write the same exact thing otherwise nothing will work and yes we can now download our advancement pack you remember the folder that we created the biomes folder in the data packs folder you extract the downloaded file in here just like this you can delete the uh, art archive folder then you go on data biomes advancements and root first of all you want to rename these with desert because you will have a lot of files in here and you, you want to know which file um, activates which biome so just so we can know better where each biome is and what we want to do is to get rid of some of the stuff that is not useful for example this part here 
um, from the comma until here. Make sure you don't download, uh, you, you actually you don't delete the these parentheses here. You should have something like this. Control S, save it, and we are done for now. Now, uh, as I said, Minecraft basically grants this advancement to a player that is found in a desert biome. And what happens, it gives as a reward to him, it activates the desert function. What we have to do now, we have to create that function that is going to be activated when a player is in the desert. This is really simple. We go back uh, on where you see, yeah, where, where you see advancements. So you should, you should be in the data packs, biomes, data, and then biomes folder. In here, where you see advancement, you create a new folder named functions. Okay, you open it and you create a new file. New uh, rich text, text document, let's name it desert. And then you want to change also what type of file it is. It is a Mac MC function, just like this. It has to be named desert.mac function. You open it. You delete everything that is in, in here. And here we want to paste a couple of commands. Now, let's go back in our world. All right, play selected world. And let's set up a couple of command blocks. Actually, we have to set up only two command blocks. So basically, when a player enters the desert biome, Minecraft grants to him an advancement. And when that advancement is granted, a function is activated. In that function, what we want to do, we want to revoke the advancement because um, in this way, basically, when a player exits the biome and enters it again, it will be activated again. Otherwise, it will activate the function only when the player enters a biome for the first time, and that's it. So we want to revoke that advancement, and then we want to give a score to that player. So first of all, let's do scoreboard objectives. Set display, sidebar. Uh... Actually, oh, yeah, I didn't create. Yeah, you will have to create a scoreboard objectives named scoreboard objectives add. And name it player biome, just like I'm doing. Make sure that it is exactly the same. So player biome with uh, capital B, and then let's set it to dummy. All right, then we go scoreboard, objectives, set display, sidebar, player biome. And then let's set to us a score of zero, just so we can see the scoreboard object. Scoreboard players set at S, player biome zero. All right, we have a score of zero here. What we want to do now in the advancement, we want to revoke the, revoke the advancement. Uh, which is um, advancement revoke at s only biomes dot uh, colon desert so copy this command here don't activate it in the chat you go on the um, text file which is named desert dot mac function and you paste it in here you don't need a slash advancement revoke at s only biomes dot uh, colon desert and now what you want to do you want to give to that player a score on the scoreboard objectives in this case I will give a score of two because two is the idea of the desert biome this will be easier so you um, recognize biomes by see by looking at the score so let's do scoreboard players set at s player biome two so this is what should happen so let's copy this let's paste it in the advancement let's delete this Control s save it and we should be done that's everything so again let me explain what happens when you enter the desert when you enter the desert minecraft detects it and grants to you a advancement when that advancement is granted a uh, function is activated to you uh, which is the desert function and in the desert function what happens minecraft revokes the advancement so you can get it again uh, another time and then gives you a score of two this is only for the desert biome remember that this has to be done all of these steps for 70 different biomes. Anyways, I will leave a download with like the whole folder with all of the biomes already set up. So you guys just have to import it and you'll be um, done. All right, so now if I set my score to zero again, if I do slash reload, now Minecraft has reloaded all of the um, advancements, etc., etc., that I have changed. Now, if I go inside the desert, if everything works fine, if I've done everything correctly, my score should be set to two. Now it is zero. So let's do locate desert pyramid. Let's wait for Minecraft to find it and let's teleport to it. Take a look at my score. It is two. Yes, now it has changed to two. Perfect. Now you will see that if you have only one biome set up, when you exit it, actually, this is a really big biome, really big desert biome. Let's see. Yes. So in this case, you can see that I have exited it. I mean the savanna, but the score doesn't change. This is because we didn't set up. Um, a, an advancement for the savanna but when you have all of the advancements set up basically when you enter a different biome your score will be changed as well and when you enter the 
let's say my score will be changed to zero. When you enter the desert again, it's gonna be set to two. So that's pretty much everything, guys. It's actually, well, it's not really difficult once you know how to do it, but I had like a bit of trouble making it. I actually didn't find uh, any tutorial on YouTube uh, regarding this in Minecraft 1.13. And this is why I wanted to, to make this tutorial. So yeah, I really hope that it was useful for you guys. You can do a lot of stuff using this system. Uh, remember that on my, on my website, you will find a download link with a folder with all of the biomes set up. All you will, ha will have to do is to just create a scoreboard. So you do scoreboard objectives, add, name it player biome exactly like this, player biome, and then dummy. So you create this, and then what you will have to do when you download it from my website, uh, you just open the data packs folder of your world You will not have anything and you drag the downloaded file from my website You drag it in here in the data packs folder and that's it Then you enter the word you type reload and you should have all of the biomes change uh, All of the scores change uh, depending on your biome. So yeah, hopefully that was uh, useful for you guys Hopefully it will allow you now to uh, make a lot of cool stuff like detecting biomes this is a really cool stuff that i've been waiting for a lot of time and thank you all guys for watching this video until the end and i'll see you all in the next one see you bye